Hi, I'm Claire from North Essex Astronomical Society. Today I will be reviewing the Savani SV105 lettering guidepiece, which Savani has kindly sent us. Let's start by finding out what's in the box. So at the top we've got some nice packaging just to keep it safe when it's been sent to you. Then we have some instru instructions, which are always useful. Oh, here's a lens cloth, which is a nice little touch. And here is the all important eyepiece. Now this, uh, in the hands, this feels really nice. It's got a decent amount of weight to it, so it feels like it's been well made. The lens cap, it's got a nice snug fit. And this is where you'll plug your cables into. Here are the cables. So this is a nice decent length, so you won't have any problems reaching your computer wherever you've got it set up. This is a USB to type B to type A, and that's the same type as you'd use to connect a printer to a PC. So, now we've unboxed it, let's take a look how we'd fit it into a telescope, such as the one you can see over here. The eyepiece is really easy to use. Just take the cap off, slide it in, and gently turn the thumb screw. Now the sun's come out, we're going to try out the electronic eyepiece in a hydrogen alpha solar telescope. Unless you're an experienced observer, please seek help from your local astronomical society before trying any kind of solar observing. Just fit the eyepiece into the focuser as we did before. Connect the electronic eyepiece to your laptop or computer using the supplied USB cable. The eyepiece uses a standard UVC webcam interface, so pretty much any modern Windows, PC, Mac, Linux or Android device should work. Consult the Saboni website for more details. I'm using SharpCap, which you can download for free. Select the Saboni 105 from the camera menu and the image will appear in the main area of the window. It will probably be completely black, but don't worry. Make sure auto is ticked under the camera controls on the right and then aim your telescope at your target. Once you've found your target, you'll need to focus the telescope while looking at the screen to get a sharp image. You'll probably have to adjust the telescope to get the target in view. I'm using my laptop to control the telescope mount, but you may have to use the handset or move the telescope manually, depending on what you have. Using SharpCap, you can change the zoom settings to make the image display larger or smaller. With the image fully zoomed out, I give it about two thirds of the sun into the field of view. If you untick auto in the camera controls, you can manually adjust the exposure time to suit your target. Here you can see I've increased the exposure to show prominences around the sun's edge. You can also adjust how the image looks using the histogram controls. It's a bit confusing, but if you consult the help files in the sharp cap, you'll soon get the hang of it. Next, I'm going to make a 30 second recording using the start capture button. You can share your recordings with friends, of course, but they can also be used to make a better image. This is the recording I just made. So now I'm going to stack one of my recordings in another free piece of software called AutoStackert. This combines the best individual frames in the recordings I made to produce a much clearer image. Finally, I'll sharpen and adjust my stacked image. I'm using PixInsight for this, but there are lots of free and low cost image processing packages that can do the same job. And here's the finished result. You can see sunspots, filaments and prominences in this image. 
Whilst I've used a very specialised solar telescope, your local astronomy club can teach you how to capture sunspots safely using an ordinary telescope and an inexpensive solar filter. The next thing I'm going to do is try the Saboni SV-105 on the moon. I'm using the small refractor you saw earlier. It has a wide field of view which makes it easier to find things in the sky. As you can see, the moon is nicely visible in sharp cap. The image is quite blue as we're viewing the moon in daylight, but we'll see how to fix that in a minute. SharpCap has some really great features for improving your views. Click the Live Stack button to turn on Live Stacking. You'll also need to untick Align Frames near the bottom for this to work on the moon. SharpCap will now start stacking frames as you go. Also click the Auto Color Balance button to get rid of the blue tone. As you can see, we now have a fantastic image of the moon from the Savoni SV-105 electronic eyepiece. In conclusion, the Savani SV-105 electronic eyepiece is a great value piece of kit, especially if you buy it directly from them. I'll put a link to that in the description box. It's really easy to use and works well with SharpCap, which can be downloaded for free. We'll also put a link to that in the description box. Well, that's the end of my review. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Mm -hmm.